Oh, this is awful. No. Okay. This was a disaster. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm celebrating fall because it's right around the corner. I went to the store and I saw a bunch of my favorite fall candies and I thought it would be a really fun video idea to see will the candy cotton candy. If you've seen my previous cotton candy videos, I used to have to just spin it really quick and try to catch all the, the sugar coming up, but I went online, I spent the big bucks, and I got the dome. We're a new and improved and completely professional cotton candy makers now. If you like these silly types of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. A couple years ago when I was doing this with Joey, we thought it'd be really fun to put candy in here and it actually worked. So today we're gonna put all of these Halloween fall favorite candies to the test and we're gonna see, will it cotton candy? Let's get started. How do I turn this thing on? It's been a couple years. Ooh, here we are. We've got a heat button, boop, and the power button. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. First candy we're testing is a fall classic. People either love them or hate them. We're gonna try candy corn. Turn this on, get it spinning. Oh my gosh, it's going. It's going already. Here we go, guys. Candy corn so far is working. This only helps so much. You gotta spin quickly, like this. Okay, we need more. Oh, jeez. It's not bad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh no, there's an art form to this and I can't remember, so we'll get it back. All right. <laughs> wow. It worked. How cool, you guys. The first one worked, huge success. The color's beautiful, it's like this pastel orange. We gotta taste it now. I'm gonna do a big bite. Oh yeah, that tastes like candy corn. Oh wow, wow. Okay, this one's cool. What have we learned today? Candy corn, can cotton candy. Let me know in the comments below if you love or hate candy corn. Next up, another fall classic, the little candy pumpkins. I absolutely love these candies. I've even used them as little toppers. When I make cupcakes, I've made pumpkin cupcakes and use them to decorate as a little design. So look at this. I put a bunch on a spoon. I'm gonna heat this up and let's try it. Let's see if these pumpkins cotton candy. In the pumpkin go. Whoa! No! Wait! Wait! Oh! No! Wait a minute! No! Mike! My gun game machine is moving! No! No! Come back! Oh, what have I done? No! Okay. happened that just got possessed and the whole thing started moving I think these candies are a little bit heavier I think the weight got off or something but I wasn't ready to catch now these pumpkin candies were a little bit tricky because one the machine started moving around everywhere because my surface has a nice glaze on this wood table and it just took off so I put a silicone mat the ones I use for baking making cookies right underneath of it and I tried it again let these heat up just a little bit more because they're denser candies and voila we got cotton candy. So these little pumpkin candies can cotton candy. <laughs> and next candy. Oof. I am so excited for this candy. This is my ultimate favorite Halloween candy. I have had these every year. They're the caramel apple pops where the lollipop is like a sour apple and then they're dipped in a caramel. I love these. I'm obsessed with them. I look forward to Halloween every year because these are my favorite. All right, let's do this. Let's cut the candy off the stick. Oh, a little heavy handed. Let's do it again. Bit more gentle. There we go. Got all these little pieces. Let's put them in here. Oh wow, oh, 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 this is fast, this is fast. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, my thing's like falling apart. Whoa. They worked. Look at this. The candy lost a lot of the color when it was melted down. And I think what we're seeing here is also the caramel. So it's not a bright green color, but we've got to taste it. I got to see if it tastes like my favorite Halloween candy. A taste test. Huh? Oh my God. It tastes just like it. 
It didn't lose any flavor. It didn't lose anything. All it lost was bright color. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. This is my new favorite candy right here. Oh my goodness, we've deconstructed my favorite Halloween candy and we've made it cotton candy. <laughs> the sugar's starting to hit. <laughs> Happy Halloween to me. Fourth candy that we're gonna try are these hot tamales. Do, 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 do. Here goes nothing. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, it smells good. Nothing's happening. What the heck? It smells so strong, you guys. It smells like I'm just like a candle of hot tamales. I'm smelling it, but there's nothing coming out. Oh my gosh, they're not working. The sugar is just being spout out to the sides of the bowl and it's not working at all. It's not spinning. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed. I thought I was gonna have nice cinnamon spicy cotton candy. Well, hot tamales did not cotton candy. Oh geez, I gotta clean this bowl now. <laughs> So the hot tamales let us down, but I'm really hoping these guys work out. We're gonna try nerds. These are also rainbow colored, so I'm really curious to see what happens with the color. Like, are we gonna see predominantly a few colors or are they all gonna mush together? We'll see. I feel like a mad scientist today. Ow! Ow! <laughs> This just smells like burnt nerds. Oh, this is awful. I'm getting these faint little, I think I got like one string. This was a disaster. Okay, it just coated the outside of the pan more and we're just getting these baby strings, but we're not getting cotton candy. This is what we have to try. <laughs> I don't even think I ate it. <laughs> Wait. They taste burnt. I heated it up even more and nerds do not cotton candy. This is what it looked like. But after further heating it, we did get a few strands. Ew. I had two cats growing up and sometimes they get hairballs and throw up and this is what it looks like. It's light brown. Look at this. I'm gonna put it down on the board and tell me that doesn't look like some weird like cat throw up. Well, let's taste this nerdy cotton candy. It is awful. One doesn't taste like nerds. It tastes burnt and it just tastes like tangy chemicals. It is awful. Nerds do not cotton candy in any way. What do I have in my hand? One of my favorite candies in the world. I don't care what anybody says. I love Werther's. Today we're gonna see if they will make cotton candy. Oh, you can smell the pumpkin spice. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, they're all stuck together. All right, with these it's gonna be a little Okay, that went in there. Smells great, you guys. Oh yeah, pumpkin spice in my face. Sweet caramel, smelling good. A lot of it got sprayed on the outside of the bowl. I'm not seeing any uh, cotton candy. Oh, it's burnt. It's lightly smoking out of the middle of this machine and that it's just burnt caramel. Okay. Moving on. So we've had a couple of fails in a row. We're really looking for a win and I thought, Let's try the party pack. It's a little Halloween party pack. We've got Sour Patch Kids here and Swedish Fish. There's regular Sour Patch, there's Tropical, and there's Tricksters. This is such a fun idea for Halloween. The trick is that the color doesn't match the flavor, so it's kind of like a mystery. You never know what you're gonna get. Come on, come on. Oh, loud. Uh-huh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, do it! Come on, Sour Patch, you can do it! <laughs> so my kitchen smells incredible, but this is the saddest cotton candy I've ever seen. We got few hairs, a few flying in my face, a few on the bowl, and a few on the cotton candy stick. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, it's tough. Mm, tastes pretty good, but it, I wouldn't say that it cotton candied. Moving on, we're gonna try a new party pack. I found this in the Halloween candy section and I cannot wait. I've lost my faith in candies. I don't know what they're putting in candies these days, but it's not just plain sugar like it used to be. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but we're gonna try to make cotton candy Tootsie Rolls. All right, let's just test it. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, oh, they're stuck, no. Oh, it's working, what the, oh my gosh, worked so quickly. 
There, there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It smells real tootsie in here. My only critique is it's very granulated. There's a lot of granulated, like big chunks of sugar in here, so it's not super, super fluffy, but tastes just like a Tootsie Roll. I mean, it is a Tootsie Roll, it's just the flavor is not lacking. This is so trippy, it's so weird. Tootsie Rolls actually worked. We have to try the flavored Tootsie Rolls, they're even better. So I've got a bunch of the orange flavored ones. I'm trying to keep it the same flavor. These come in a bunch of different flavors. They're made from the same company as Tootsie Rolls, so I'm hoping <gasps> that we'll get some really yummy orange result. Okay, here we go. melted so fast, started making cotton candy so fast, I couldn't even get my hand out in time. I have cotton candy all over my hand. In fact, the fruit chews and <laughs> Tootsie Rolls cotton candy. Now let's do a taste test. Oh, wow. All the taste. It's all there. It tastes so good. It tastes just like the candy. We didn't lose any flavor. My only critique is it melts too fast. I can't even get going. And it's a little denser. Other than that, a win. It can cotton candy. All right, we've only got a few more candies to try. I've never tried to make cotton candy from dots. Now these ones are very sticky if you've ever had them. They stick to your teeth, but I do like the flavor. And usually at Halloween, I don't trade these. I usually keep them. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. They're very gummy. Here we go. Ow! Oh my, oh my gosh! Close it! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Hold on, I need a shield. They're shooting out of this opening and hit me in the face and they're super hot. Also, these bins are from my home organizational line. They are useful for everything. Even shielding yourself from burning hot melting dots while you're trying to see will it cotton candy. Okay, dots did not cotton candy at all. You can look here in this cotton candy tin or pan. I don't know what this is, you know. This is just the catcher. I'm just gonna take a scoop of it. Gross. It's a really odd texture and I'm trying to think when I'm baking, like if I would ever need or use something like this, but let's taste it, cause why not? Yeah, it's like crunchy too, just like, like, like eating a tumbleweed. Little one, taste them. Um, <coughs> Sorry, these little fibers uh, don't go down easy. I don't like eating this, so I'm gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> Next candy. Now we're gonna try something we've never done before. Marshmallows. Look at these. They're Peeps. Peeps always does like seasonal themed marshmallows. And I found these at the store. They're cute little pumpkins. And I thought these are perfect. Let's see if they will cotton candy. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not turning into cotton candy, it's just spackling the sides of the bowl. It's melting and just... Oh, we're getting some strings! Just a few! Okay, a little bit. Whoa, sticky! So sticky! <gasps> Hair! We got some! Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. Well, the machine is literally smoking from the burnt marshmallows. It smells like burnt marshmallows, and this is what the marshmallows created. This is just so sad. This is one of the saddest sticks of cotton candy I've ever seen. I'm really nervous. It doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like sugar. Straight up granulated sugar. Oh, you know what? A little burnt aftertaste. I do like my marshmallows a little toasty, but I do not like this texture. Ew. I've never tried this before. This is a chocolate mint candy. I love these for after dinner. A lot of restaurants I used to go to in Seattle, they'd give you an Andy's after dinner mint. And that's where I fell in love with them. I don't know if this is gonna work. I've never tried to put chocolate inside a cotton candy machine, but let's try it. Why not? Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, wow, nostalgia. I mean, chocolate mint and then chocolate, the layers. Mm. All right, here goes nothing. We're gonna put them in right now.
The heat definitely melted the chocolate and then it's just sprayed all on the outside of the rim and it's not creating any of that cotton candy floss. None of it. Look at this. But it smells delicious. Not even one hair of cotton candy. We had some good luck with hard candy so I found these in the Halloween pack. They're the Tootsie Roll lollipops. Now Tootsie Rolls worked a little bit but I thought the hard candy might be perfect. Pour it in. Oh, it smells so good. It's working! It's doing cotton candy things! <laughs> yes, yes! I love it. There's even a little bit of chocolate residue uh, in the middle. So this is totally a cherry Tootsie Roll pop in cotton candy form with just a little hint of Andy's. <laughs> the Tootsie Roll pops, definitely cotton candy. Huh? It's good. I'm going to make a real Tootsie Roll pop in cotton candy form. So we've already got this, okay? So what I gotta do now is I gotta get a Tootsie Roll candy, put it at the center, and then we'll put this one on top. I'm just gonna have a quick snack. We've just invented a new cotton candy. I've never seen a state fair do this. Here we go, here we go. Okay, oh, they go pretty fast. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I had to let it heat up first, I messed up. That's okay, I got some more. This is beautiful. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm a wizard. This looks terrible. My hand has been cotton candied, but here's the thing, I'm eating it, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this to the top. Boom, that is our Tootsie Roll center, okay? Perfect, love it. Now, now we're gonna put this. Whoa, whoa, wait for us. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, we got it. We got it. We saved it. Saved it. Saved it. <laughs> we have created a real Tootsie Roll Pop in cotton candy form. Was it messy? Yes. Is my whole hand covered? <laughs> I look like I have fur, like a werewolf. <laughs> yes. But... <gasps> Look, you can see the Tootsie Roll in the center there. And then this has a little bit of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it tastes just like the candy. It is awesome. This is the best, oh my gosh, this is great. This is a great idea. This was a winner. We just created a new cotton candy. Accidental genius. Next candy, Warheads. I love these because it's a hard candy, so I have high hopes. They're super sour. And if you have not had one, I mean, they are more sour than a Sour Patch Kid. These things made my face go like that. So I'm hoping to get the most sour cotton candy ever made. Let's try it. Ah, it's doing some. <laughs> it's working! Yes! Whoa, this one's aggressive. It works, but it's dense, so it's really, it looks like a tail. <laughs> it's in my face. Oh my gosh, I would never, I would get fired at a cotton candy machine booth. I'm like, hi, I'm here to work the cotton candy machine, and they'd be like, sure, Ro. And then I would do this, and they'd be like, and you're fired. <laughs> All right, you guys, it worked. It's super fluffy. Warhead's definitely cotton candied, but let's have a taste. Yep, super sour, did not lose any of their flavor. Whoa! All right, you guys, warheads were a win. Next up is a candy as old as time, Smarties. Gonna unwrap a bunch of these, put them in here. Now these candies have a completely different texture than the other candies that I've tried. It's not quite a hard candy, it's not something you've made on the stove like a traditional hard candy, and it doesn't have much moisture in it. So it's kind of like a solid version of maybe like just like sugar sticks. So that's why I thought these might work really well. It could be very wrong because I have been fooled a couple of times today already. Whoa, wait, oh, this is awful. Ow. <laughs> Woo, they're spinning around, smelling good. It smells just like Smarties. Um. Now I'm just kind of smelling burntness. Okay, you guys, disappeared. These are Hocus Pocus candies. I didn't see any smoke, I didn't see anything come out, and they're gone. They evaporated, they vanished into thin air. Smarties do not cotton candy. They are magical, vanishing. Last, but definitely not least, I found these at the store, it's Bob Ross candies. Now these have different flavors. For those of you who watch me a lot, you know that I love Bob Ross, and it's basically like those dipstick candies, so it's 
like sugar and that's perfect for cotton candy. I was like, this couldn't be more perfect. So I'm gonna pour in each flavor and try to make a layered cotton candy. Oh my gosh, look how cute. The little dipstick is a paintbrush. <gasps> okay, I just have to do one because this is just too cute. Let's just try. Oh yeah, nostalgia. This is so fun, how cute. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's make some candy, everybody. Boom, cotton candy. <laughs> What's in there? What's this made out of? These are so cute, but how can you do Bob like this? Bob is amazing. Bob could do anything. Bob could have made cotton candy. I love Bob. All right, Bob, well, it's not your fault, but this candy did not work. And I checked the ingredients. Not one ingredient says sugar. So that's probably one of the problems. I'm shocked. I really thought out of all the candies, like a powdered sugar candy was gonna do really well because usually when you're using these cotton candy machines for real, you can order different types of sugar and different flavors to make beautiful, amazing cotton candy. And they're very similar to like what came out of this packet, but they must be similar, but oh so different. All right, that does it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments down below which candy was your favorite that cotton candied. We had some wins, we had a lot of fails, so let me know in the comments down below. I think my two favorite caramel apple pops and the Tootsie Roll pop that we recreated. That one was so cool. All right, but I wanna know what you think. Let me know down below. Also, if you enjoyed this silly video of testing candy to see which candies would cotton candy, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Thank <laughs> you.